Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dumase. Welcome to my channel. If you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe. It's literally free, guys. You just press that little button and you're just subscribed. So I just come back from church now and today's word was about purpose it was just really amazing and um the pastor just spoke about we may not know our purpose now but our destiny is what calls us to our purpose so driving home i was just like yo okay wow 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 you know you're feeling motivated and you feel like oh, that that message was for me yeah i just felt like talking about purpose in the sense of your 20s specifically i don't know about you guys but my 20s have not been cute it's not what I, I was promised it's not what i signed up for it's not like how they made it in the movies and i was just like you know what these people are like it's either everybody lied about your 20s or maybe my experience is just very different but i'm experiencing a lot of discomfort in my 20s from the beginning and i am in my mid 20s now like i'm turning 25 so I think mid 20s is 24 to like 26 and then your late 20s is 27 to 29 i might be wrong but i was just i just feel like today i wanted to talk about my 20s so in my 2023 reflection video i spoke about not wanting to have any expectations of anybody and anything this year and then funny enough the first book that i've been reading this year by pastor sarah jakes roberts um the first chapter was about expectation but it's in the context of expecting god to do things so i was just like you know what nobody can tell me god doesn't have a sense of humor because how is it that this one thing i've been struggling with and i've been speaking about and experiencing the first book i read in 2024 has to do with expectation so the book is called all hope is found and i'm thoroughly enjoying it because it talks about she's very real and authentic and as much as she speaks about christianity and her experience of it she makes it like in such a way that everybody can relate to it doesn't matter what you believe in i really love how relatable she is she has such an her story in the context of being a pastor's kid like you would expect her to have failed and because of everything she had gone through but she really just persevered through everything so yeah chapter one and two speak about having expectations with regards to um what god is intended for our lives but there's this specific part where she speaks about let me just find it there's yeah so she speaks about the issue of the woman of blood and then she just mentions um sis was tired sis was determined sis was in need in need sis was defiant sis was unsure sis was my kind of girl and i was just like you know what this is me <laughs> she's talking to me because this is exactly how i feel right now um who my expectation of my 20s was that I'm going to be living my best life throughout the, these years. I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to be having fun. And it hasn't been that. Like, I don't remember much of my early 20s because they were blurry. Nothing prepares you for your 20s because your relationships change. So much just changes as you are, like, as a person. And i think the hardest part is navigating through that i mean my relationships now i'm 24 and it's just like i have friends who are married i have friends who are moms i have friends who are in long-term committed relationships and now i'm like oh huh, the only single one in the whole in my friendship groups and that's weird like nothing prepares you from going from a long-term relationship to ending up single and experiencing your ho first heartbreak at 24 like and it's just i think it's just showing like how everybody's on completely different paths because this is not where i thought i would find myself i was so sure i would be married this year <laughs> i was so sure that was the direction of my life and then now it's just done a complete 180 shift and i'm in a season where 
I didn't think I would ever be in. But in the same breath, it showed like everyone's in different phases of their lives. And it's not the plan that we had, the picture perfect plan that we had. And um, it's fine. Experiencing my first heartbreak in my 20s is better than experiencing in my 30s. Like, and I'm so glad that I like experienced that when I was unemployed because I mean, I cried every day for four months. <laughs> I couldn't get out of bed. And I think I needed to feel all of those emotions and it was just a reminder like, you know, it sucks, but I'm so glad I get to feel, I'm so glad I'm human. I'm so glad that I am someone who is passionate about how I feel and I'm vulnerable because I feel everything deeply, the good and the bad. And there's people that don't have that. They, they can't feel anything. I'd rather feel too much than not feel at all. And I will never apologize for that. So I feel it more on the weekends when, you know, I'm sitting at my place on a Friday night or Saturday night and I'm not doing anything. And you just see everybody living their best life on Instagram, everybody going out, everybody doing all of these things. And I mean, I don't mind that. I love being alone. I do. Even when I was in a relationship, I would be in the house most weekends. But it's just this prolonging sense of loneliness that I have been feeling throughout my 20s. That it's just uncomfortable and it's not a nice thing to feel because it's like, whoa, everybody's going around living their best lives and you're, you're just there, you know. And I have my friends, I have my siblings, I have amazing relationships. But this loneliness feeling just always trickles in somehow some way and i don't know how to go about that and i've never really felt like i truly fit in anywhere or completely felt understood by the people around me and i just want to like figure out like where does that come from what what's the course has their person that they go to and i've never had that person like not even just as best friends like even of the family i feel like i don't really fit in everybody has their group or their person it's either i'm too old for the young ones or i'm too young for the older ones in their 30s and it's just it sucks but it just triggers a lot of feelings for me and i'm just like oh is this an abandonment wound is this an anxious attachment or is it just the sense of loneliness and i don't know my 20s have just not been fun um, the same way they say college is the best years of your life and varsity was a nightmare for me and I just feel um, like right now at this point I'm starting over and that's such a scary thing and it's a scary feeling because you know I was set on my life being a certain way and going a certain direction and i don't know why i'm getting teary eyed <laughs> and i was set <sighs> i just felt like everything i thought i wanted and needed turned out to not be true um And it's scary <laughs> it's really scary because I know everybody's like your 20s is your time to explore and figure out you and figure out what you want but it just doesn't feel I don't know if I'm scared because I don't want to get hurt or I'm, I don't want to get disappointed or I don't know what it is, but I'm not looking forward to it. And yeah, ugh, this is so gross. <laughs> but like, as much as there's been really life changing things that have happened in my 20s, I feel the good always outweighs the bad and that's just the thing that i love the most like 
a year ago i didn't picture my life like this i didn't picture being a lawyer um i know i was studying law but i never actually thought i would actually be a lawyer and then it's happening and like throughout varsity when people will be like oh my gosh what are you what what kind of law do you want to go to and i was just like i don't want to be in court at all <laughs> and now i'm in court every single day so nobody can tell me god doesn't have a sense of humor but whoo your 20s 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 i think it's also and i just feel like i have so much responsibility now because i um financially supporting myself in all aspects of my life it just it doesn't sink in until i have to pay my bills when i have to pay my rent when i have to pour petrol when i have to buy groceries when i have to do all of these things and i'm like whoa like whew, like it's fun it was fun in the beginning now it's like really just like oh my gosh i really have the weight of massa on my shoulders how then I'm like, did I, wait, 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 wait. Now that I'm actually experiencing this, I'm like, how did I think I wanted to be a mom at 24? How did I think I wanted to be a wife at 24? I'm just struggling to keep it together for myself right now. Like, and I think God was like, uh, no, I want you to see if this is what you really want. Like, are you sure about it? Okay, let me show you. Let me just show you. So now I'm like, okay, no, it's fine that I'm in my waiting season because I'm not ready for that yet and whew, I think the thing that sucks the most is scrolling on your phone and seeing somebody who has it together like it makes you question yourself like what am I doing wrong like my accomplishment for the day was cleaning my place or getting out of bed or taking a shower like how is somebody doing so much but I think that's also why comparison is really the thief of joy but can't help but feel like it how can you not compare yourself to somebody how how can you not look at somebody else and be like okay there's something that i'm doing wrong like you know <sighs> but yeah i just wanted to say i'm not enjoying my 20s um i hope they get better from here but right now, wow, I don't know what I was in a rush for. I don't know why I wanted to grow up so badly. I don't know where I was rushing to because for as long as I remember, I can remember when I was a kid, I was just like, I can't wait to be a grown up. I can't wait. And here I am and I'm not enjoying it. I want to get off this ride right now. Uh, I don't have anything else to say I, I don't have anything motivational to say because this is the slump that I'm in this is how I feel it's very real and it's raw and it's unfiltered yeah yeah that's how I feel about my 20s I don't know if anybody else can relate to what I'm saying and what I feel but Jeez, I hope it gets better. <laughs> I hope it gets better. Okay. That's my... So that's all that I have to say today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And bye. Yeah,